What is up? It is RC00, and today on, I guess it would be the first episode of How to Improve at UMK3, we're not actually going to talk about UMK3, we're going to look We're going to look at how to actually install it. Now, that is a big issue for like a lot of new players, they come in and they just don't know like how to get set up and what programs we use and what not, and I'm going to give you a rundown of what we use. So you're going to want to open up your browser. Um, be whatever browser, it doesn't matter. What you want to do is you're going to hit uh, Ultimate Cup. Uh, you're going to hit Ultimate Cup and you're going to look for this Facebook page right here. UMK3 Ultimate Cup Edition Facebook and it's going to have UMK3 uh, UC basically this is a link right here you're gonna wanna hit it now you come here and there are three items right here on this pin post the easiest way and what I per uh, personally use is the installer auto installer now if you uh, somehow do not trust this um, what you're going to end up doing is you're going to go to the alternative way which is just the full package which is like a zip and that's how we used to do it back in 2018 2019 and I think in 2020 is when we started using the installer um, but you're going to want to make sure you download the new the newest um, when you hop on Kylera which I'll show you later um, you, you might can notice that like their ultimate cut version or the team edition is different so you're gonna want to make sure you stay up to date um, you might can follow and like the page and you know yeah it probably keep you up to date so what you want to do is you're gonna for the installer you're gonna hit that first item I'm not gonna show you how to do that uh I'm not going to show you how to do that um, uh, zip file. But as you can see, you come in here, there will be a button that will say download or something along those lines. You're going to want to hit that. And it's going to do its thing. And then it's going to hit up with a button right here, down by here. Uh, I think I can redo that. No. But yeah, here we go. I'm going to run y'all through how to do it. So y'all going to hit this right here. And like it'll say, it'll give you this right here. Smart to finish smart screen. Pre prevent and unrecognize that from starting. Run this app might put your PC at risk. I've been using this for about one or two years. I haven't had any issues. I'm going to run anyway. You hit yes. Uh, English. It'll give you a file destination. And these components, I'll leave it alone. Like the 2014 client, create that desktop shortcut. Um, just leave all this as is. And it's going to be 301 megabytes around that, around there. You're going to hit install. It's going to do something really quickly. Uh, might take longer depending on your system if I'm not mistaken um, so we're just gonna wait there it goes now it's gonna start doing its thing it's gonna start downloading those ROMs and patching them there as you can see and it's going to do that for uh, maybe at most 10 minutes for some systems. I wouldn't know for sure. And it's going to say it's finished installing and you're going to hit finish. Now, what I'm going to do, excuse that. 
we're gonna go it'll have this um, icon right here there's some shortcut on your desktop what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna hit it and it's gonna start doing its thing again as you can see it's pulling its uh, um, it's pulling its stuff from github which I think is safe for the most part but it's still closed source which I know that's a little rough for some folks um, so now we're gonna be here and first off I'd like to note that UMK3 Plus and the normal 1.2 revision is not gonna come with it sadly um, you have to get those yourself if you want to use those for like maybe speed running I guess or just enjoyment um, casually but whatever so you're here now and this looks all intimidating don't be intimidated because there's nothing to be worried about you can turn this off right here right there uh, you can leave it there if you want to if you're gonna be playing other games with this emulator and this right here you can turn off which is this right here this, all this information you can turn that off right here with this button okay so now that we have this space sort of cleaned up uh, what you're gonna want to do is the main three versions that people use are 60 FPS team edition uh, the normal team edition and ultimate cup what you're going to do is you're going to double click on it and it's going to open up the game now once you get here you're going to want to make sure that your controller of preference uh, is plugged in to your computer through USB or something along these lines and you're going to want to hit tab on your keyboard now once you've hit tab on your keyboard uh, you're gonna use your arrow keys to move up and down and you're gonna want to hi highlight input and parentheses this game you're gonna want to hit enter now my controls are already set uh, so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna hit enter on what you want to uh, set your controller with controls with and you're gonna hit whatever button uh, you want now and you're gonna want to do that for your star uh, maybe your coin uh, up down punches and runs make sure you know you enter hit whatever button now what I also note is that make sure you have the drivers if you're using something like a PlayStation controller on Windows, you're gonna want to get some drivers specifically for that. And, uh, there's some other software if both players are using keyboards, so if they are, there's a way to compensate for that. And, uh, you might also want to do like a button check. Um, I don't have my actual keyboard on me right now. The one I use. I'm just using one of my laptop, I guess. And I'm gonna make sure you know that shit. And it, sh it should be all And you're only gonna do that for Ultimate Cup and both team editions because that's what the main thing people use. And if you're gonna want to play something like uh, plus or any of these that come with it as well you're gonna want to set your buttons for those too and now we're gonna go to Kylera so before you can get on Kylera what you're gonna have to do is restart your emulator um, emulator excuse me I can't speak today and once you reset you're gonna uh, hit file you want to go to Kylera Net Play, and this uh, window will pop up. So first off, you're gonna want to make sure 
you know you have it set to land because that's what people prefer uh your nickname or your tag you're going to want to set that because it's just going to default to your computer name uh your quit message um you can just put something stupid uh there and these this is your local list um as far as your local list goes this isn't automatically going to be there what you want to do is you're going to go to master servers list you're going to go to you're going to highlight uh more combat wave net and you're going to want to add add to local list and if we close that it'll be there but I don't want two of them there. So you're gonna join a server by double clicking it. Now once you double click it, what you can end up doing is you're in the server now. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to create right by the chat button. And you're gonna pick uh one of these three right here. Um we're just gonna put ultimate cup edition. Uh now now we're in a room and what you want to do is you're going to hit start and it'll oh it should do this right here and it's just going to be doing all this right now. Superb. And people can join your room, uh, and you can join other people's rooms by double clicking on them. And then when they hit start, like the owner of the room hits start, then it starts the whole game for everybody and you can play with them. Simple as that. It's, it's nothing to it really. But I know a lot of people get intimidated by this interface. Because like I said, it came around, like we've been using this same interface for about I don't know. A good bit. <laughs> you know. And I think that's it. Um, if you have any questions, uh, just put them down in the comments and I will be glad to help you out. Um, I enjoy trying to help new players, you know, get into it. Because it's a really fun game, you know. It's awesome. Alright, so I guess that's it. I'll see y'all. Peace out.